You guys aren't even ready. April was stupid. A couple of reasons April was stupid. Number one, a lot of pre-orders came in, but the biggest thing was that my contact over in the UK, my box I've been building got big enough to ship. So sit back, make yourself some popcorn. We're gonna play the intro real quick. If you need to go pee, go do it now, cause this is stupid. <laughs> I may have screwed up just a little bit. You guys remember in March's video, if you haven't watched his March video, please go back. I got January, February, March up right now. Um, listen, so Mill Creek is a, is a wonderful label that puts out great movies and they do these uh, slip covers for Blu-rays that look like a VHS box with the, with the VHS coming out of it. I showed off a few in my March stack and I said then, that this may become a problem. Listen, we're just gonna blow through these, okay? Because I had a little bit of an issue. Cause I, cause listen, they're they're like nine ninety nine. You can't beat that. Some of them might be twelve ninety nine. I've seen a couple for fourteen ninety nine. And I'll be honest with you, it was worse than this. But from two different places, still advertising that it had the slipcover, I ordered and it showed up with no slipcover. And these just aren't fun without the slipcovers. So this could have been worse. We're going to rapid fire this shit, okay? Because this was just dumb. Stop, my mom will shoot. I mean, you can't beat that. Look, I mean, you see what I'm saying? Look, VHS coming out. Look, it does it on the back too. This is great. In, I mean, they, they give you the theatrical posters half time. And which is great. Uh, inside's nothing. Just just Blu-ray and that's it. So we're just going to rapid fire this. Love this movie. It's hilarious. Heart and Souls with RDJ. Seriously? Love this. Great slipcover. I haven't seen this movie in a long, long time. So I need to get to watching this. Again, rapid fire, people. Rapid fire. Splitting hairs with Rick Moranis. Are you serious? Are you serious? Of course I had to buy this. What a what a beautiful, beautiful man. I'll buy anything that he was in, I'll be honest with you, because uh, I respect the shit out of that guy. The paper, this all-star freaking cast right here. I haven't seen this movie in a long time either. This was, oh man, I really don't remember the last time I saw this movie, but I'm definitely gonna watch it. I think the last time I watched it was on TV, so it was probably edited and that's just bullshit. Shut your mouth, okay? Shut your mouth. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it. I, I told my wife about the premise of this movie, and she was like, "That's that's the most ridiculous thing ever." And I said, "Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Freaking King Ralph." Ha! This one almost made it into last month's video, but it showed up right after the deadline. So this one actually just dropped at the end of March. So this one is a fairly new one. All the rest of these have been out for a while. That's why I was surprised I was able to get the slipcover in a lot of these orders. But uh, yeah, you can't, I just, I just love this so much guys. And I got nowhere to put them and I'm not even done. A little 1988 for you with casual sex. Am I right? Am I right? You see Leah Thompson right there? You see her right there? Listen to me, listen to me carefully. Okay. Listen to me. I had a teacher that looked just like her. That was my favorite class. So we got a little casual sex here. Love the back. This is great. And I love that they do the insides here. I like that these are separate images. Some of them are just zoomed in, zoomed out. That's fine. As long as it's something different. Oh, there's more. Renegades, bitches. <laughs> you can't. Why would I not buy this? Are you serious? Oh my God. This was like a, what was this? Like an HBO Cinemax all day long movie back in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't wait to watch this again. 
I had to get some more John Candy in my life. Am I right? I don't even... I'm wanting to say... God, I'm really having a hard time piecing this movie together, guys. So it's either been that long or I'm just... I just, I just remember bits and maybe I haven't seen the whole thing all the way through. So it's a need-be thing. It's going to happen very, very soon. All right. We made it to the end, guys. We're going to end it with this 1983 masterpiece. This just sci-fi nutness. Have you ever seen this? Have you ever seen this? This was actually on recently on that uh, wonderful station that you can stream called Comet. I think Pluto TV has it. I think Samsung TV has it. If you've never just sit back and watched Comet, that channel, the movies that they play are absolutely insane. Just nuts. So again, Mill Creek, guys. They're the ones putting out these VHS. There are, there was about four more that I wanted to add. But again, I tried two different places that was advertised and they still had the slip covers. And when they showed up, they didn't. So I was a little disappointed. Maybe I'll find them. Maybe I won't. I don't know where the hell I'm putting these. But anyway, that was slip covers. Let's move on to the next category. Let's do some media books. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna start this on quite a big fucking media book. Okay? Part of my language, but I think you'll understand. Because this is huge. This is for the burbs. This label out of Germany. Or was it France? Spain? Not here. Okay? They put out these. This is actually number five. And these are just huge books. This is beyond media book, okay? This is just straight up a book. And it comes with the Blu-ray, the DVD. I mean, just, it comes up, look, I love this. Oh, heavy as hell. I love that the cover and the back are like behind the scenes photos from the movie. I think that's awesome. You open it up to the discs in these little side pockets. I know a lot of people don't like them. I kind of don't like them either. But in this case, I mean, what else are you going to do? You can't put a snap case in this thing. But I know this is all just foreign language that I'm never going to read. Um, look, they give you a little bookmark. If you want to learn how to read the foreign language, you, they get, you get a little bookmark to throw in there. A lot of this is just text. There's a few sections in here that have some uh, really cool uh, behind the scenes photos. So I thought that was nice, but I mean, it's a lot of text. It's a lot of text. Listen, not a big reader, guys. Not a big reader, especially if I don't know what language it is, okay? They got me there. Tricky, tricky bitches. But I do enjoy all the behind the scenes photos because I don't think I've ever seen any of these. Uh, I love this movie, and you see a lot of great shots. I love that there is the behind the scenes of the Walter scream. How great is that, right? Anyway, this, uh, I'm going to file it under media books, but it is, uh, it's beyond a media book. It's got one Blu-ray, two DVDs. Uh, this thing's nuts. I've looked them up. They've released, uh, I think they're, they're in like the 20s now. This was number five. The only one that I'm on the hunt for now is they did one of these for Donnie Darko. And hopefully I'll be showing that to you in a future month. But as of right now, there's only two that I can find and people are proud of them. Let's talk one of my favorite movies ever, ever, Explorers. I love this cover. This was actually one of the uh, original theatrical posters in another country. I don't think we got this poster in the US, but I've been looking for this media book at a good price and just randomly uh, Amazon Germany had them pop up at a pretty good price. Now, this is only DVD because when this came out, the Blu-ray hadn't, hadn't hit yet. So you only get the DVD. But again, I love media books because they give you great, great images that you just don't get anymore. All of our Blu-ray shit, they don't come with nice booklets half the time. And media books just give you great look. You're not going to get that. I'm get it anywhere else but a media book right here. And I love this cover. Super excited to add this edition to Explorers. 
We got an email from Turbine, really cool studio, puts out really cool editions. They were doing, uh, I think, a three different, maybe four different uh, media book versions for this old Sean Penn Bad Boys movie. And I think this was the exclusive to their website edition. I just thought this image was just great. And I really love how they just zoomed in for the back. That's super cool. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this movie, guys. But I love me some older Sean Penn movies. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, again, a lot more text than anything else, but that's cool because I love seeing, look, there's young little Sean Penn. That's adorable. Um, again, this is a Blu-ray and DVD. Um, I'm really looking forward to watching this. I, I don't, I don't know anything about this movie. So exciting to add it to it. And I wanted to grab this uh, store exclusive. Again, the label is Turbine. Puts out amazing stuff. I guess we can file this under media book. I mean, why not? A24, exclusive to the A24 shop, the Lighthouse 4K. Had to grab this. Um, super excited. Uh, this was the only way the US is getting this. Um, Arrow Video got the rights to do it in the UK. And uh, I definitely signed up for that when it drops. I love these big boxes that A24 has been doing. Um, this is like the third one I think I have. Um, I'm hoping they do one. They should be doing one pretty soon for everything, everywhere, all at once. So that's going to be a good addition. Um, but they just, it's super hard. There's no flexibility here. I love this inlaid title here. Um, the image is, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost like a, it's almost like a canvas. Um, honestly, it's really cool. But they've got the, the discs just pop in there. So there's no sleeve for a disc the pages look at all this content storyboards artwork they do really cool work with these i really like adding these to my collection because uh, the only part that i don't like is the fact that they get you gotta lay them down on your shelf because they don't they don't fit any other way but just like i mean here like like here's like they're like detailing the doors for god's sakes like, I don't need to know that, but it's cool to have it, right? <laughs> but anyway, A24, uh, they may still have some of these on, in their store. Uh, check them out because this is, this is a cool addition for a lighthouse. Okay, are you guys ready to get into some freaking steelbooks? What? I can't, I can't really rapid fire these guys, but... So again, uh, I hope that popcorn's still warm. Put a little extra butter and salt on it for me, okay? Because here we go. Here comes the stack o still books that I've got from April. Jesus. Let's start off with Mondo. Wave three. I've got the, uh, the last three that I needed from this third wave that they've done. This is for Iron Man three. I uh, love me some Mondo still books, guys. I'll be honest with you. I passed on the first wave when it first dropped because I was like, I've got my Zavi lenticulars. I'm happy. I don't need Mondos, even though the artwork was amazing. But then wave two dropped and the artwork was even better and I needed all of them. So I've been going back. Uh, the only one that took me, I love how they even do the great artwork on the discs themselves. Uh, Iron Man 1, of course, was the big one that took me forever to get. And uh, super excited that out of nowhere, Amazon Germany restocked them. And people were over here asking over $100 for that damn movie. So, with these final three from Wave 3... Um, I've got, I'm up to date on my Mondo MCU. So this was the Mondo Steelbook for Iron Man 3. Next up on the Mondo MCU, so we've got some Captain Marvel. And this little Germany sticker, I'm pretty sure I can get that off. Plus, it's not on the Steelbook, it's on the slip jacket. So, that's okay with me. But you've got a great twofer here. You got that. Captain Marvel and that Captain Marvel. So that's pretty awesome. It's almost like a double cover steelbook. 
Um, and then on the inside, again, awesome artwork on each disc. You get, it's basically the same art on the cover and the back and they just, they just zoomed in. And then you get those on the discs. I tell you what, what would have been cool is that if they would have put, instead of zooming in like that, if they would have zoomed in on just the head, just made her face the disc. So when it's on there, her face is, it's like, it's the same measurement. That, that would have been pretty cool. But uh, either way, I'm happy. These come with uh, Blu-ray and 4K on all the rest on these Mondos. So that was uh, Captain Marvel Mondo Edition. One more. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Again, if you would have gotten these from uh, Zabby, you wouldn't have had these little German stickers on it. I just, uh, I jumped on these when they came up on Amazon Germany because I was not gonna miss out. And uh, I could definitely see myself missing out on Zabby. But really cool how they did Ant-Man and the Wasp. But she's upside down, so you gotta do this. See that? Wow, that's pretty cool. Awesome pictures, great uh, Wasp and then Ant-Man art on the discs. That's pretty cool. I will say out of all of them, this is probably the uh, weakest inside. Um, and that's if you can get the damn disc out. And I'm pushing Sarigas. Okay, good. Uh, this is probably, they could have done better, but that's, I mean, it's whatever. You know, it's Ant-Man and the Wasp for God's sakes. Don't get me wrong. Love me some Rudd. I'm all about some Rudd, guys. Oh, he's one sexy man, isn't he? Okay, let's move on. Okay, keep on going. Keep it going. 100 years of the WB celebrated with this wild, wild Ready Player One steelbook. And they only released these in the European market, so that kind of that kind of sucks. Uh, but you were able to get them on Zavi, Amazon, uh, FNAC, HMV, I think, had them. Pretty much all of the European market had, uh, they, they did this one and the next one I'm gonna show you for part of the WB 100th anniversary. I hope they keep going. I don't know if I need more of this style, but it'd be cool to get some more newer steel books uh, for some really good Warner Brothers titles. So, it's cool. This thing is, it's, there's a lot to look at on here, guys. Just a lot to look at. Uh, the only thing I would have suggested is making it more of a wraparound piece, but it's just, it's just two individual crazy pieces of art. Uh, but I'm all about it, guys. This one was, uh, this was a good get, and I think it's still out there. So go grab it, even if you've already got a Ready Player One like I do. Uh, this was this was a cool release, and I, I definitely wanted to add it to the collection. Another celebrating Warner Brothers 100 years is this uh, same uh, idea as Ready Player One, but for Rampage. Crazy artwork on this thing, man! Just wild. Just <laughs> you know what I love about this steelbook? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You want to know what I love about this steelbook? Dwayne the Rock Johnson's nowhere on it. Is just wild, crazy shit, you know. And the discs, um, you know, there's there's no art on the discs. So I'm just gonna pop them out. There's just you got the black 4K and the blue Blu-ray, even on the inside, guys. Now, was that WB saying, "Look at these awesome monsters," or was that The Rock saying, "Get me the hell off that movie"? I don't know. And you know what? We'll never know. But it's cool because it got us that artwork. So keep it up, Warner Brothers. Give me some more. But it'd be nice if you made it easier to get here in the U.S. But if I got to go European, I got to go European. Mill Creek, you sneaky bitches. And making it exclusive to Walmart? What? The 2011 version of the thing. And they went straight up Lionsgate style with this slip cover. Are you ready for this? Bam, look at that. What, Mill Creek? What? Are y'all serious right now? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. What a great steel book. Now, 
granted, you know, it's, it's Blu-ray only, but I'm not one of those people that's going to complain. You give me a beautiful steel book. I don't care if it's got a DVD in it, man. Just, just, let me, just make sure you put some effort into that. And what I love about that slip cover is that it takes away the title. I love steel books with no titles, just all image. Some people hate that shit. I love it. That slip cover's fine on the J card. Totally cool. I take those off. I just love if the movie's so good it can be captured with an image. That's all that's all you need. Again, Walmart. Exclusive to Walmart. What? Mill Creek? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Speaking of a little Lionsgate action, they did another pressing of this. I missed this when it first came out because I had no idea what the hell it was. And I'll be honest with you, I still kind of don't. But the more I saw this steelbook, the more I kind of wanted it. So when they put out this uh, second pressing, I jumped on it. Big shout out to my buddy James out there. Boom. His Best Buy got some in. And I just wasn't going to make it to my Best Buy anytime soon. So he snagged me one. And he snagged a buddy of mine one. So that's a twofer, man. I got to check this movie out. I heard lots of good things on another YouTube channel I was a part of. Hey, look, a digital code. Oh, you missed it. Uh, I was part of <laughs> I was part of this uh, little conversation on another channel. And um, this movie came up with involving Lionsgate. And uh, everybody was all like, hell yeah, get it. So I had to get it. So again, shout out to James for helping me out with this one. Uh, gonna have to watch it soon. I'll let you know what I think. Another Lionsgate drop. House of a Thousand Corpses. I own this movie a couple of times. But, you know, I'm almost on this bandwagon of if it's Lionsgate, I gotta buy it no matter what. Because they just do such a great job with these slipcovers. Look at that. What? Ah. Okay, this might be one that you couldn't just get away with not having a title on it. But anyway, is this, uh, look at that. What? Ooh, that's beautiful. This is, um, two Blu-ray. I think people were surprised by that because usually these Lionsgate are a 4K Blu-ray. But that's okay. Because look at that inside picture. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Rob Zombie, you crazy son of a bitch. Warner Brothers, 100 years doing it again. I love this matte finish. Uh, matte finishes just give images just such a crisper, sharper. Ah, oh, just look at that. That's, that's wonderful. Had to grab this. Uh, just a classic film. Uh, for the first time on 4K. And they gave you the Blu-ray disc with it. Um, yeah, Rebel Without a Cause. I'm really digging this matte finish. If they keep doing these classic films and using the matte finish, I think it's going to be a beautiful collection. So Warner Brothers, listen. Do more. You're not listening. I know you're not listening because bam, glossy. What the shit? I was just talking about this. Cool hand Luke, beautiful steel book. I love the blue, despite the glossiness of it. And I love this inside picture, black and white with him in color. That was such a great idea. I love that so much. Again, 4K and Blu-ray with this one. Uh, Warner Brothers, keep it up guys, keep it up. All right, from Germany, we got this uh, steel book of a video drone. Uh, I love this movie, it's nuts. I have a really awesome edition from Arrow Video. Um, but I was I was really looking forward to finally snagging the steelbook because uh, I missed it when it was on um, I think it was on FNAC I believe um, but I love the artwork on the discs uh, and you get a booklet with this one so that was really nice um, I just love this artwork this movie's this movie's wild now there's Lion's Gate the man who fell to earth David Bowie. Uh, this was this was out of nowhere, honestly, and uh, I was super excited to use this artwork. That artwork's crazy. I mean, you just take off the eye, and I like it because it's a full wraparound artwork, and I love me some full wraparound artwork. 
That's wonderful. Look at that. That's great. And the discs, they actually uh, did what I was talking about earlier, how the picture on the disc matches what's behind it. So I always think that's super cool when they do that. I wish they would do that more. But, um, and this was, uh, again, this was the uh, exclusive from Lionsgate here in the States. Uh, but there was also another version of this over in the European market. 100% different still book. I love the matte finish, spot gloss on Bowie. That's, that's super cool. Got some text on the back. Very nice. And I love the uh, images used on the discs and on the inside. That was great. And it came with a poster. Look at that. Nice size poster too. I like that it's I like that it's landscape and not portrait. But yeah, that was the uh, that was the version the European market got. So which one you like better, the European or the U.S.? Uh, uh. Again from Germany, this uh, Liam Neeson steel book. Look at this. It's matte with all this spot gloss on the shattered glass. And I didn't know this until I just opened it. It's a numbered edition. They made two thousand of these. Uh, the last I looked, this is still on Amazon Germany. Um, I would recommend picking this up. This one was number 444. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing, but okay, cool. Not only do you get 4K and Blu-ray, but you also get a booklet. I didn't know this thing was so involved when I ordered it, um, but I was super excited to get it. Um, I missed the pre-order, um, but uh, it's available now. Uh, until they sell out, uh, I would I would say grab it. Look at that! Just, that is that is great. I mean, just all the spot gloss on the mat. It's a this is a great steel book design. This is nice. Another Liam Neeson from Germany. Super glossy, super duper glossy. This one actually didn't make it uh, very well. There's a couple of dings on this one, but great images. Um, I'm, being as one of the downfalls you lose from ordering from Amazon Germany, if you want to return anything, it's gonna it's gonna be at, at your your expense. So it's not that bad. I've definitely gotten worse from them. Uh, but this is 4K and Blu-ray. Um, I don't think I've watched this movie yet. I remember seeing the trailer. You know, it's it's Liam Neeson. It's action. It's pickup trucks on icy roads. What else? What what else do you want? I told you about Turbine, this German label. I don't know what I just bought, guys, but this was nuts. And they have a steel division, granite. It's not steel books, it's media packs, but I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna discriminate. I don't know what I bought, but they were having a sale and this artwork captured me. And now I've gotta watch it because not only the cover, but what's going on here? Huh? If you know anything about this movie, let me know in the comments. Just give me like an overall what I should expect. Don't ruin anything for me. But what the hell did I just buy? Now this movie I know, another one from Turbine. This is about the invention of the hula hoop. And it's wild, just wild. If you've never seen this, go get it. Again, these are these are metal packs or future packs, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, it's all the same thing. Instead of a spine like a steel book, it has a hinge. Some people like it, some people hate it. Some people like me just don't care. As long as it's cool and good looking, I'm all over it. And they actually do a limited run of these, both this one and the last one. They only did a 1500. So uh, these are available on their website and they do ship to the US. Again, that's Turbine. Uh, they do a lot of cool stuff and this still division is, is, is pretty cool as long as you don't, you know, as long as you don't mind the future pack look, uh, it's worth looking into. All right, let's get into some uh, premiums and limited editions. I got a handful for this month and uh, I really like all of them. So let's get started with those. And we'll get started with Nova's Full Slip for Fall. Uh, this was a limited run of 700. Super, super glossy. Uh, this is not a steel book. This is just a regular snap case with exclusive art. But what I do like about these slip covers that they do, 
is that if there ever is a steel book, it fits nicely in here. So you can replace these, these snap cases if you're not into them. But I do like that you do get exclusive art on the front and back of these. So you're not getting like a repetitive thing. And they come with collector cards. So that's cool. You always get nice images inside and out of these snap cases that Nova does. Um, I held a, a very small group buy because I know a lot of people aren't really into this. They'd much rather have a steel book involved. Um, but Nova does some great stuff. And at the end of the year, um, after uh, like around like Black Friday time through the end of the year, they normally do a half off sale. I actually made a YouTube video about my last year's purchase uh, back in January. So go check that out. So if there are any of these left at the end of this year, they might be half off. You never know because again, they only did 700 of these. So you get slim pickings, but uh, very cool. Nice gloss, nice raising on the image itself and the title. Really cool addition, guys. Really, really cool. Pick this up from Plain Archive, uh, the little drummer girl. I actually passed on this the first time around um, because I've never seen it. And I've, uh, I've heard some good things here lately. And it came back in stock. They did this edition, I think one, if not two others. And then there's a one click. Um, the last I looked after I bought this, uh, everything's gone but the one click. And it's an actual very unique one click. It's in a square box. Um, but if you if you know anything about this movie and you really enjoy it, uh, it's it would definitely be a cool edition. Um, I just don't, I don't know, I don't know too much. So I didn't want to go all in. Uh, but I wanted to pick this up when it came back in. Super high gloss image uh artwork all around you'll even see uh this does come with an exclusive steelbook and uh, even the steelbook artwork is is incredible um so i'm very i'm looking forward to checking this out because i have heard a lot of good things before we get to the steelbook very nice booklet uh lots and lots of contact now playing archive is a foreign company so all of this text is in a foreign language so uh but the pictures are cool, and I'm a picture book kind of guy. So here is the steel book, and that's just, that's pretty cool. The title is inlaid. That's very nice. Uh, but I'm, I really dig this artwork, and, and it's a wraparound image. You know how much I love wraparound images. Look at that. That's great. And this is a three disc. Let's see, we got 4K, 4K, four disc, my bad. Uh, 4K, all right, so you have uh, a Blu-ray special feature, two 4Ks, and a soundtrack, which is pretty cool. You don't normally uh, get soundtracks anymore, so that's uh, that's a pretty cool option that they did here. There's a soundtrack for this there, so four discs in this collection. Um, in a limited exclusive steelbook, in an awesome slipcover. Again, it's Plain Archive. Check them out, they do some... They do some pretty good titles. Um, I, I, I am a host for them, but they do their group buys a little differently. So unless it's a extremely popular title, you won't see me hosting for them. Um, mainly just because of how they run their group buys, which is totally fine. They can run it how they want to, um, but I don't see a lot of people buying this. So that's why I didn't host for this one. Um, but I grabbed it, so what do you know? Second Sight, man, they get you every time. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K, ginormous edition. This thing is ridiculous. Second Sight, they don't joke around when they release something. They release something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you missed this, I'm sorry. If it's available, go grab it. I haven't checked on their site in a long, long time. Um, I think I actually grabbed this off of the Zavi site. I don't think I ordered this direct, but you can order direct, they do ship worldwide, so. That's cool. This thing's full of stuff though. You get two packs of photo cards. And these are like nice thick cardboard style card. Two different, two separate packs. This one was the one that had the uh, release held back a little bit because they were having problems with the printing. But <laughs> two packs of cards. This hardcover book. That's right. This is like a legit hardback book. 
and it is full of stuff. Plenty of text that you can read if you want. Lots and lots of pictures, behind the scenes pictures, artwork. Uh, this thing is, this, this is, this is on its own. This is awesome. And it was just in the box, right? And they always do beautiful fold out that holds their discs. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, I love that. And it just holds. You've got a, uh, the Blu-ray, the 4K, and a, uh, two Blu-rays. Two Blu-rays and a 4K. All with great artwork on them. Oh, second sight, guys. Y'all need to get on that if you're not. Because they do amazing stuff. Last premium for the month. I've been expecting this box for a long, long time. I finally arrived. Uh, but for the label Magnificent, or MAG, M-A-G for short, their release for 2012. And this is a full wraparound lenticular, which is pretty amazing. The lenticular work itself is great, but to have it front, back, and spine is pretty awesome. This is a great idea. If you've never purchased anything from MAG, they do a great job. They really, really do. I'm hoping that uh, one day soon I will be able to host for them again. That's a whole other story for a whole other time. Uh, this was probably one of the last ones that I was able to host for them. Um, they do extremely low numbers, um, so they're really hard to get. And um, let's take a look at what's on the inside of this thing. First full slip on there, very nice matte finish with a glossed raised title. Also um, some spot gloss on the actual water and the rubble in the background. Super, super nice box. Um, this one feels like it's gonna be a lot of the goodies. And if there's one thing that they do, it is goodies. Let's check this out. Let's see, first up in this little, we've got this little fold out piece here. I, this has got uh, two patches and also the uh, clearance card that you need to get in, to get on to the, uh, to be one of the special people, one of the higher ups, you know what I'm saying? If you've never seen the movie, I don't wanna ruin it for you, even though it's been out for quite some time. Also in, in that same box, we have this other, again, spot gloss on this finish. And then it opens like this. And inside, we have this uh, blueprint poster for the plane. A second blueprint poster. And just a nice image of the plane in the movie different material kind of waxy I like, I like this poster material second full slip that you have in that box cover again just all of that spot gloss on the spine on the back these images are awesome that they used um, this has the movie itself and another little box right here standard snap case but with exclusive artwork uh, all the way around Nice image on the inside too with the Blu-ray disc. Uh, a lot of people wanted this to be 4K, but unfortunately this was just a Blu-ray release. Also in that full slip, we have a booklet, which is full of nothing but images. No text, no nothing, just a bunch of screenshots and uh, very, very clear, very, very high def screens, uh, screenshots. They, they always do really good on their booklets. I like their booklets a lot. And then we have this little holder here. Great images. They did, they did really good with the images on this one. Again, this one lifts up like this, just like the last one. That's where we find a bunch of photo cards. Just a bunch of just disaster images. There's just one after another. 
there's one thing about this movie you can definitely say it had some visual effects galore if you've never seen it it's kind of it's kind of all over the place it's wild and that also had this little folded out I wouldn't call it a poster I just call it a very large card uh, but a cool image either, either way so it's pretty awesome and that was all of the MAG 2012. This is in, they have different lines that they do. Um, this line is called the MPM line. This was the sixth release for that line. Uh, again, they do amazing work. Um, keep an eye on my Instagram. Hopefully, someday soon, I can help you guys get a hold of these because they do great work. Well, that's it, guys. Did you enjoy your popcorn? I hope you were at least able to get through a bowl, if not two. It sounds really, really good. But that was everything that I added for April. All of the uh, slip covers, the steel books, the media books, the premiums. That was a lot. There was maybe one or two things that I'm just not gonna show today because they're for a different video. That's right, more videos coming out soon. I'm gonna do a deep dive in a lot of collections I'm going to focus in on some labels individually and just show off some cool stuff. So I hope you uh, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Again, I got more stuff coming. It's just coming out a lot slower than anticipated. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, April's editions. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your day, evening. And I will see you next time. Physical Media for Life, my friend.